there, everybody. Uh, Data Pioneer here with the Linux Unix Tech Channel. And coming at you today with an article from ZDNet. Uh, the article is, this is Tim Berners-Lee's grand plan to save the web from digital dystopia. Can the web be saved? We should know in about two years' time. And this article is by Steve Ranger, uh, dated November 25th, uh, 2019. So let's get into it. Web inventor Tim Berners-Lee has published his plan to save the web, warning that a quote-unquote digital dystopia lies ahead if big tech companies and governments don't change their ways. Berners-Lee unveiled the first part of the contract for the web, nine high-level principles for government, tech companies, and individuals in November of last year. And there's a, a link here out uh, in this article to the contract with those uh, high-level principles, and I'll put a link to this article out underneath the video so that you can take a look at it. The contract sa says, for example, that governments should ensure everyone can connect to the internet and should keep all of the internet available all the time, while tech companies are urged to make the internet affordable and accessible to everyone and respect consumers' privacy and personal data. Over the last year, five groups, including tech companies, government, and other interested groups and individuals have been working to draft 76 clauses filled with the detail that underpins each of the nine principles. The next step is to encourage tech companies, governments, and other organizations to sign up and agree to follow those rules. Berners-Lee argues that while his invention has proved to be one of the most powerful tools we have to change lives for the better, it has also become a source of new threats, including election interference, online harassment, threats to privacy, and spread of disinformation. The Web Foundation points out that one in three 12 to 17 year olds in the United States have been bullied online, that a false story reaches 1,500 people six times faster or quicker on average than a true story does, and that online scams cost users across 20 countries an estimated $172 billion in 2017. Digital divide is another issue. While 83% of Europeans are online today, only 28% of Africans are, and 46% of the world is still not online. Quote, the power of the web to transform people's lives, enrich society, and reduce inequality is one of the defining opportunities of our time. But if we don't act now and act together, prevent the web being misused by those who want to exploit, divide, and undermine, we are at risk of squandering that potential, unquote, says Berners-Lee. The contract for the web is the first time that all these groups have come together to create a quote-unquote vision of the web that we want. The Web Foundation's policy director, Emily Sharp, told ZDNet. Next up, enforcement. The next step is to start enforcing some of the principles. Com companies and governments that endorse the contract are expected to uphold its principles and show progress towards them and publish and report on that. For example, the project calls on tech companies to offer a central control panel that will allow consumers to see what data is held about them. Quote, in a year from now, we want to see that many more companies have actually put these control panels into place, unquote, Sharp said. The project has already been backed by Google, Facebook, Reddit, and DuckDuckGo, along with civic groups, including the Electronic Frontier Foundation, Public Knowledge, and Ranking Digital Rights. The governments of Germany, France, and Ghana have all signed up. But there is still a lot of work to do, and some of those companies that have signed up are the ones that are most readily blamed for the poor state of the web. Quote, the fact that they have signed up and put their names against this is meaningful. The world will be able to look back in a year and say, did you actually do the things you said you would do, unquote, said Sharp. Quote, we are under no illusion that it will happen overnight, but we do expect to see significant progress within a year or two and will continue to push for the year afterwards. Years afterwards. This is something we will commit ourselves to for years to come, unquote. Sharp added, the odds are stacked against the contract for the web. Many tech companies make the most of their money by mining our digital lives for data to repackage and sell, while governments 
by using web blackouts and disinformation to curb dissent and debate. It's a situation many would think is getting worse, not better, but that's no reason to give up, argues Sharp. Quote, we are very much at a tipping point. We are at a crucial or critical juncture. It's not too late. We can't be too late. We have to do something about it, unquote, she said. Okay, so what do I think about this? I think that uh, Tim Berners-Lee's grand plan, uh, Save the Web, uh, is a good one. Uh, will it work? I'm not quite sure. Uh, it's kind of up to us to put it into into effect and then make sure that it happens. I mean, take a look, folks. Go, look, go back and look at what has happened to TV and what has happened to radio uh, in years past. Uh, you know, marketing and advertisement agencies and ad agencies and uh, and companies have have pushed their ads out to people uh, have ruined both television and radio and now if they haven't already they're about to ruin uh, the internet as well um, and there is a lot of online uh, bullying uh, online disinformation and that kind of thing I really think it's time that we do take a really harsh look at the internet and um, try to figure out what we can do to fix it because if if not as Tim Berners-Lee uh, is saying uh, you know it, it's going to go by the wayside and we're going to lose it and we're going to lose the effectiveness of what the internet was really designed to be, which is a communications tool. All right, so this has been an article from uh, ZDNet, and if you like the article, go ahead, please, and uh, give me a thumbs up. Uh, if you haven't already subscribed to the Linux Unix Tech Channel, go ahead and do that too, and make sure when you do uh, that you hit that bell off to the right-hand side so that you get notified every time I upload a video. And so this has been Data Pioneer with the Linux Unix Tech Channel. Have a great day. Take care. Bye-bye.